Welcome to the Coal Collective for Arcalis from Ordino with Dan Martin. fortunate enough to ride in some pretty amazing places the last couple of years, bringing the best climbs that we can find to life. First time in Andorra though, so thought we'd call on a little pro knowledge, gives a helping hand. Topping out at 2,229 meters, 18k ascent overall. Seven's where the fun and games really start. Yeah, we're all trying to get up climbs as best we can. Any advice to help people get up to the summit and, and enjoy it? Yeah, I think mean, just relaxing and taking the view. I mean, it's, uh, you can go as hard as you want, but I mean, it's, it's still we, we all ride bikes for fun and. Yeah, you might as well enjoy the occasion of getting to the top of the climb, but I think also it's important not to go into the red. On a climb, as soon as you go into the red, you need to slow down to recover again. And it's, if you ride within yourself, you're gonna, it's best to get faster towards the top, kind of get to 2k to go and have nothing left. Got Dan's uh, local climb here. Although well, you're telling me it's a recovery climb. <laughs> What's that all about? Yeah, it's probably the easiest climb around here. You know, it's uh, this climb is one of the few that you can just kind of pedal off. It's quite enjoyable. Yeah, you don't have to grind. Dan was telling us over coffee earlier that most climbs have got 15 to 18% sections in. We've done about 9.5-10k, skirted our way through the valley. Temperature's starting to rise now, it's really cold this morning. Actually beautiful, one of the beautiful sort of autumnal days. The valley section, what is it, about sort of 3, 4, 5%, it's not too taxing. Yeah, it kind of rolls up and down all the way, so it's, you have a little, little rest in between and I actually use it as my recovery ride the first, until we hit the steeper part of the bottom of this climb, yeah. the real climb. Ten and a half k to go, hit the, uh, the town of El Serrat. Yeah. And straight away my breathing got a bit more, more laboured. Yeah, you say 10-12% with four or five hairpins up through the village and then uh, yeah, we kind of get onto this almost a plateau like up through the valley until you get into the next section of the climb where again the hairpins start. That's what we love, the hairpins. Bring it on.
we get quite a lot of comments come through and most of them are saying, Oi Cotty, why don't you ever uh, sit in the saddle when you climb? You're always out of it. You know, and for me, it's just what feels natural. On a climb like this where you've got a definite easier section at the bottom and you hit the hairpins and it ramps up to eight, nine percent, you know, technique is that it's something you really think about or you know, how do you work it out? I think you always just plan feeling, you know, it's kind of Obviously, climbing out the saddle uses different muscles to when you're seated. So, especially when you're going f like flat out in a race, you kind of use that to, like, to maybe turn a bigger gear on a steeper section, or or you can create more power out the saddle as well. So you can hold speed when it does ramp up. Obviously, being out the saddle, it also puts your heart rate a little bit higher. So, if you are on the limit, it can actually slow you down getting out the saddle. That's my excuse for when you see it, me going painfully slow up these climbs. <laughs> Oh yeah, your aerodynamics are all wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tips from the tips from the top. I'll go for that. Seven k to go. It's probably the last time to take a bit of a breather because a little bit of a plateau and it's not much. We get a couple of hundred meters just to just to take a little bit of a downhill and uh, just rest a bit and then get yeah, the final slug up to the top. Although, yeah, as you get closer to the top, there's a lot of hairpins and hairpins are actually the easiest part of climbs because they're, they're flat. You, know? <laughs> you normally see if you've got like a long straight and you feel like you're riding through quicksand yeah. doing nothing. Well, Alderez is the perfect, like, it's the same as this climb, Arcalis. The hairpins are kind of flat and then you get the, the hard bits in between. kind of puts it in perspective when this is one of the easier climbs in Andorra. The last 10 k is approaching 7% all the way. A load of hairpins, really exposed as well. So you know, we're blessed today, got a nice blue sky, but the wind is quite cold. It's funneling down, so it's making this last part a little bit harder than it should do. I mean, that's, that's how you saw it in the Tour de France. They, the guys racing up here, with the headwind, it just negates the racing. So it finished like a group of 15 guys or something, and it's, it really does make it difficult to attack. When you get to the O, the big O, it's over because it kind of gets a bit flatter after that, you know, and the last kilometre and a half, it, it's uh, a bit easier, although then you get that headwind and yeah. it just stops you dead. Yeah, it's that invisible evil that always hits us, but you know, you get up to 2,229 metres, Andorra's finest, sampled it today, just great to be here. Thanks for your time. Yeah, no problem. Made it. Been a pleasure. It. Been a pleasure.